also called as <clears throat> the circulatory system the circulatory system for all living organisms they need nutrients gases liquids for all living organisms for what for growth and their body maintenance for growth and their body maintenance so all living organisms these all the nutrients these all the nutrients it should be sent into the different parts of their body it means for all the body parts they need this nutrients gases or liquids whether in unicellular animals or multicellular animals for the all living organisms they require nutrients they require nutrients they require gases they require liquids for unicellular animals and as also also multicellular animals in unicellular animals these materials may not be transport to longer distance like as multicellular animals like as multicellular animals if you see the long trees big trees these all the nutrients is sent into different parts and means it should be transport to the longer distance but in unicellular animals these all the materials are not transport to longer distance compare with multicellular animals so actually in lower organisms like amoeba hydra etc etc so many lower organisms are there in the it means uh, in single cell animals these materials are transported in in single cell in that body itself they are using a process that process name is called diffusion and osmosis in lower organisms like amoeba and hydra they for this material for this material how this material transported in this lower organisms by the process of diffusion and osmosis process but in higher animals or higher living organisms whether it is plants or animals if they are using this process means diffusion or osmosis process for transport the materials to different parts of their body it takes too long it takes more time it takes more time to transport that materials but this diffusion and osmosis process uh, that is very sufficient to only lower organisms not for multicellular animals means big animals or big trees or big living things it is not sufficient it takes too long it it means uh, it takes too much of time for transport the materials these materials for how how these uh, multicellular animals uh, transport the nutrients or gases or liquids from uh, one place to different parts of their body so for that for that they develop a another process a another system 
they develop to transport from one place to another place means one part to another part of their body they arranged one new system that system name is called circulatory system what is that circulatory system in multicellular animals there is a, a special system for transport the materials that is called circulatory system that is called circulatory system now let us study how this circulatory system carried in our body okay. have you ever observed a doctor holding the patient wrist and look at his watch for a minute holding the patient wrist and look at his watch for a minute what he want to trying to observe why he is doing like that what he want to trying to observe why he is doing yes he want to count the heart beat he wants to count the heart beat you are getting laugh no no need to laugh it is a technique to find out the heart beat doctor holds the patient wrist and look at his watch for a minute according to that you find out the heart beat of the patient heart beat of that patient you to do you to do yourself you have to find out your heart beat to this small experiment take your middle finger and index finger take your wrist and these two fingers we have to keep it here as shown in the figure as shown in the figure you may feel that something is pushed something is pushed your finger from your body is it right from the wrist so the pushing it comes in a rhythmic manner rhythmically it is coming out the pushing manner it is a rhythm rhythmically it is coming out so that rhythms if you count it that rhythm that rhythm if you count it the count is equal to the your heart beat when you when you keep your fingers in your wrist below the wrist when the rhythms come comes out no that rhythms are called pulse that rhythms are called pulse what doctor observed through this pulse he want to observe heart beat in telugu we have to say hrudaya spandana in telugu we have to say hrudaya spandana so actually this pulse this pulse we have to see through our eyes also through how three through our through, through our eyes also we will find out this heart uh, pulse rate how take a button do you button take a button in the button there are holes no in the holes we have to keep match stick match stick yes when you keep this match stick in the button holes this operators we have to keep it on the wrist as shown in the figure as shown in the figure then this button rhythmically it is moving up and down if the pulse rate is more sometimes it may falling down sometimes it may falling down so rhythmically it is moving it is moving the button it is rhythmically it is moving that rhythms are called pulse that rhythms are called pulse 
ओके इन द ईयर ऑफ 1860 रेनी लेनेक रेनी लेनेक ही डिस्कवर्ड सेटोस्कोप ही डिस्कवर्ड सेटोस्कोप डू यू नो व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस सेटोस्कोप टू फाइंड आउट द हार्ट बीट व्हाट इज दैट टू फाइंड आउट द हार्ट बीट find out the heart beat so what type of stethoscope you found that during that time paper stethoscope what is that paper you hold the paper you hold the paper like this for this paper tube there are two ends is it right two ends one end uh, is keep it on the heart and another end he keep it in his ear in his ear then the sound which is coming through this paper tube he is hearing according to that he calculated the heart beat he calculated the heart beat in later instead of this paper he used bamboo bamboo stick also after that at present we are using in this place we are using rubber tubes what is that rubber tubes so like that the first stethoscope was uh, discovered by rene lenek in the year of 1816 in the year of 1816 this is about paper stethoscope later bamboo stethoscope now we are using a rubber stethoscope in some areas iron stethoscopes also they are using is it right that is modern stethoscope what is the use of this stethoscope they are using for counting the heart beat for counting the heart beat i want to ask you one question is there any relationship between is there any relationship between heartbeat and pulse rate yes yes how much times rhythmically when we are observing this pulse rate here for example i observed 78 times rhythmical movement on our wrist in 1 minute same same number we have to observe in a heart beat it means the pulse rate is equal to the heart rate the pulse rate is equal to the heart rate do you know the pulse rate is not constant in all the as group people the pulse rate is pulse rate is not constant or heart beat is not constant in all the as group people in all the and all the age group people means sometimes there are different group people are there different group people means different age group people are there these all the people are not having same type of uh, pulse rate or heart beat according to their age it will be change according to their age it will be change the pulse rate or heart beat according to yes it will be change so look at the board in newborn baby in newborn baby it means 0 to 3 months the pulse rate in a minute 100 to 50 times and in infants it means 3 to 6 months 90 to 120 times and in infants 6 to 12 months 182 120 times and children 1 to 10 years 70 to 130 yeah about 10 years and also senior citizen means adults their heart beat 60 to 100 times but and well trained adult means athletics they are just doing exercise no their heart beat always low 
that is very good how much times it will come their heart beat 40 to 60 times it means their heart not taking that much trouble yes their heart rate 40 to 60 times for a minute see according to yes the pulse rate or heart beat it will be change it's not constant for each and every age group people different age different age group people are having different pulse rate or heart rate now we will see the structure of heart actually the circulatory system means the transport system that is mainly depending upon heart the heart is the main part for uh, main part in the circulatory system so that's the reason we will see the structure of heart if you want to see the structure of heart we will take live example how we will select a goat heart or sheep heart we will take it then we will collect that heart before doing this experiment cleanly wash it that heart for doing this experiment we need heart and a sharp blade some of the straws and a tray and water these are the operators for doing this experiment so when we take that heart if you observe that heart what is the external view what is the external view that is ante manaki pai ki kanipinche etadi gundi ela untundi see heart is located in between the lungs heart is located in between the lungs the anti the posterior portion slightly it turns it curves to the left side it curves to the left side the posterior part but the heart is not in left side the heart is located in between the lungs it protects the heart is protected by rib case what is that rib case or chest cavity the part is the part the heart is protected by the rib case okay so if you see the heart heart is in conical shape heart is in conical shape the broader part middle pain above this is called anterior portion anterior portion it is broad that means well posterior part is pointed end okay okay next actually if you observe the heart if you observe the heart the heart is covered with two layers the heart is covered with two layers that layers are called as pericardial membrane what is that pericardial membrane these two layers are called pericardial membrane these layers are filled with a fluid like structure fluid like structure this is called pericardial fluid what is this pericardial fluid what is the use of this pericardial fluid it will give protection from the physical shocks it will give protection from the physical shocks to the heart gunderu bahyanga vache etavandi aghatal nunchi rakshinchadaniki this pericardial fluid is very helpful which is in the which is in the pericardial membrane okay size that is this stuff you have hand your heart size is equal to your wrist okay na next actually by look if you observe this heart 
this heart has four chambers this heart has four chambers how this heart divided as a four chambers with the help of grooves what is that with the help of grooves the heart is divided as a four chambers with the help of grooves ok vidhanga cheppalante these grooves are nerve like structures what is that nerves like structures some of the nerves are in horizontal some of the vertical uh, some of the uh, nerves are in horizontal some of the nerves are in vertically it is arranged in the heart so that's the reason that uh, that nerves are called grooves the grooves are one is in horizontal and another one is vertical so that's the reason the heart is divided into four chambers the heart is divided into four chambers what are the four chambers what are the four chambers the opposite chambers are called auricles are also called as atrium so left side so right side and left side why because the heart is divided into four chambers no this is called right side this is called left side so the left side chamber is called right auricle and right ventricle the sorry the right side chambers are called right auricle right ventricle the left side chambers are called left auricle and the left ventricle the opposite two chambers are called auricles the downside two chambers are called ventricles okay like that like that the heart is divided into four chambers the heart is divided into four chambers okay no <coughs> internal section of the heart what is that internal section of the heart it means when we cut the heart when we cut the heart from up to down we can find out the internal section of the heart internal section of the heart so when we cut it the heart appears like this this is called internal section this is called internal section of the heart so already i told you heart has four chambers heart has four chambers what are they right auricle left auricle right ventricle left ventricle these are the four chambers already i told you how this four chambers are formed in the heart with the help of grooves so the heart has four chambers the heart has four chambers right auricle left auricle right ventricle left ventricle so because of one horizontal and one vertical septum the heart is divided into four chambers one horizontal and one vertical one horizontal like this like this these are called septum because of this two septum the heart is divided into four chambers the heart is divided into four chambers if you observe this if you observe the auricle right auricle and right ventricle bigger than the left auricle and left ventricle the right auricle and right ventricle is the bigger than the left auricle and left ventricle so the walls of the the walls of the ventricles the walls of the ventricles thicker than the auricles walls of the ventricles thicker than the walls of the auricles okay so now the right auricle is bigger than the left auricle the right ventricle is bigger than the left ventricle so this is about this is about chambers okay now 
here <coughs> if you observe in the heart there are two types of vessels are there two types of vessels arteries and veins what are they arteries and veins so arteries always it is very strong arteries it is very strong compare with ventricles sorry compare with veins the arteries are stronger than ventricles so here if you observe this is a vein this is also vein so this is this vein is called superior vena cava superior vena cava which is collected the blood from the head part and send into right auricle send into right auricle like that this is called inferior vena cava inferior vena cava which is collected the blood from the below the abdomen kinda bhaga nunchi raktanni collect chese itvati vein anamata superior vena cava these both are major veins which is collected deoxygenated blood from the different parts of our body and send into right auricle the function of the vein which is collected the deoxygenated blood from our body and send into right auricle 